To implement an OR function in a complex CMOS skate, the PMOSFET must be placed in series. Is this true or false? Well, we can find this out if we look at the notes that are in the description below the like button. And this is in the section with CMOS logic design, specifically complex logic gates. So we have a lot of background information, but we're going to really focus on this part right here. So to draw the NMOS part, we are going to have the AND series be with FETs and the OR be with the parallel FETs. So if we want an AND with an NMOS, it's going to be in series. If we want an OR, it's going to be in parallel. Now if we do the PMOS, it's going to be the NMOS, but kind of reverse. So we know that NMOS is AND for series. Well, the series is going to be parallel here. So if we want PMOS to, ha to have an AND, it's going to be in parallel. And if we want it to be in parallel, it's going to be in or, or if we want it in series, it's going to be in OR. So backwards, it's a little bit confusing. But we know that NMOS is this right here. And series or parallel. And PMOS is just going to be that backwards. So AND parallel. And then OR is series. So if we look at this, we're looking at a PMOS vet. It's asking us to implement an OR function in a complex CMOS gate. And the PMOS vet is placed in the series. So the series part is what we're really questioning right here. Well, remember, let's look at NMOS first. If we want an OR function for NMOS, it's going to be in parallel. So if we want an OR function for our PMOS, because it's opposite, it is going to be in series. So this is true and it is correct. And that's how we go about looking at this problem.